Saturday the 5th of August 2023, York City travelled down to Wilston for the first league game of the season. <clears throat> so guys, the starting eleven for the uh, York City Wilston game. Stockdale started in goal. He then had Crooks, Duckworth, McLaughlin, Dyson, Akinyemi, Kuya, John Lewis the captain, Howe, Pybus and Andor. Obviously Stockdale, Akinyemi, Howe and Andor were making the league debuts for City. Here's our thoughts folks. Guys, so here we go. So yeah, York City. Um, I thought Monty was asleep there. You look asleep on the camera, Monty. Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. We were going to go, weren't we, to the Wilston game, but we didn't. We, we cancelled because of the yeah, weather. We heard bad rumours about the weather, so we kind of thought yeah. we don't want to risk like a, a nine-hour drive or whatever mm. to then get there and find out it wasn't on. Mm. Lo and behold, we made the decision to not go, and then it turns out the games were on. Exactly. Yeah. But. Um, yeah, when we when we heard the result and what's happened and stuff down the ten men, we were very very disappointed. Yeah, from what they, from what we gather, first half they played really well. Second half they didn't show up. Yeah. So, you know, one nil up at half time. Dick Akinyemi getting his uh, first goal for the club on 39 minutes. Depot. Yeah. From what we gather, it was Callum Callum Howe who got a, a red card. The red Did he get the red card for the handball then? Do we know for a penalty? I'm not sure yet. Well, you weren't happy with the team. No, I wasn't. I didn't think the team was strong enough in the, in certain mm. areas. Yeah, yeah. I thought a back four was all right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would have started with Fairweather uh, up uh, mm. as full back. Yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah. Um, that's my opinion, but uh, mm. I, I would have brought the new uh, the lad we got from Wimbledon. I would have played him. Oh, what's with he? Pyrus at the back. Pyrus, yeah. Um, and built forward from there. Yeah. I wouldn't have had two centre forwards playing. I'd only had one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's the thing. Yeah, if you're not going to play, if you're going to play a forward, I, I wouldn't have played what, what, what uh, Lewis up front. I'm going to say, well. yeah, if you're only going to play one, we needed some some pace up there. Yeah. And I think um, oh, now then, what's his name? Sizzabo. Sizzabo would have been exactly what I'd like yeah. to have seen playing. Hmm. Him and Koma. One at one yeah, side, yeah. one at the other, and uh, mm. the the big centre the centre forward up playing up front, yeah. with him them bringing service in for him. That's mm. what and I was the, And that's how well, I would have liked to see us play. Yeah, uh, I think we'd have been more forward going. Mm. Um, although there's some players but we, which we, are favourites to York mm. would have been left out onto the bench, but yeah. they could have come on fresh. And change mm. the game in a different way. Um, after the game, that uh, some of them aren't fully match fit. Yeah. Well, I can't see the point of anybody saying that because mm. what's the point of saying so we ain't match match fit when you're playing all these friendlies? Mm. This the idea of the friendlies is to have a match fit. Yeah, exactly. Some of these players you've had for a while. Mm. You've got Finley Barnes, for instance. Didn't make the bench. A good little player. Hmm. Impressed in pre season, yeah, never got a chance, yeah, exactly. I People think said it's I think Callum it Harriet was, as well, he played uh, well, but he um, wasn't in the squad today. Mm. Well, there could be reasons for that. But mm. the first home game of the season on set next Saturday on against Kidderminster. Now, Kidderminster have promoted side, you know, so how do you think we're going to do against them? Well, again, you've got to be playing your, your most experienced. Uh, midfield players um, uh, playing so people can be running going forward yeah. it's no good letting them come back at, coming at you all the time you've got to boss them not let yeah. them boss you mm. and I do honestly say, think that the team we picked are, are decent players yes today mm. but I didn't think it was strong enough for the team you yeah. needed two people who could just hold that defence mm. Or one person even to hold the defence, the other one to roam round yeah. from one side to the other and go forward. Yeah. But 
you're getting that person you can just drop back onto that and play football as well hmm. and go forward as well. Yeah. Um, today we had, on paper, it looked all right, but you could see that there was cracks would be they were there. Hmm. People who've been watching York for a long time knew them them players. Hmm. They knew what they were like. They aren't quite there now to what they used to be. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we find for Kidderminster then? Let's have a prediction before we wrap this up. 2-1 to Kidderminster. I'm going to go quite generously, 3-1 to City. Oh, I'm glad you weren't positive, Tommy. It means I don't have to. Right, I'm going for 2-2. Two, two. Well, there we go, guys. <laughs> I was just going to say, it's a miserable day for City with the result, and the weather is absolutely miserable as well. Hey. Sonny yeah. Pocklington, this is what you get coming to see, Monty. You're exactly. Ill at all, and you're <laughs> yeah. in the ill, you see. Anyway, guys, we will see you at the next one. We'll see you next week for yes. who Kidderminster. We're playing again? Kidderminster. First Bring home game of the season. Subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next one. I've been Tommy Metz for 322 Sport Yorkshire.